Hey folks, hope you're doing good. Coming at you live right now. Wanted you to uh, look at this picture over the shoulder here. Designed that a few days ago uh, for this gathering. Happened on Friday night in the Panhandle Synergy in Amarillo. Uh, when I was compiling this and, and generating this image, uh, I, you know, the plan was to show the battle between darkness and light. An angel and a demon. I didn't plan on the fire on the ground, on, on the, the the grass and and surrounding with wind surrounding the panhandle, but but uh, it looked cool. But I was going to take it out, and and it was very clear that the Lord was telling me, no, you need to leave it in there. Okay, so I did, and I distributed this graphic, and then what happens? You know, just a day later, all the fires, planned fires. We've been attacked, folks. We're at war. We've been at war for a while, but now it's on your doorstep. I don't know if you've been praying. I don't know if you've been watching. I don't know if you've been distracted with all the little stuff uh, that we tend to get distracted with, but here we are. It's on our doorstep. And all those, uh, all those fighting age military men by the millions that have been uh, courted and funded and distributed by this own administration uh, those operatives are are taking their places. We're at war. What are you going to do? Well, you got to come together. We're going to come together and pray. We're going to stand together. Not for a day, uh, but we need to stand together. Evil has infiltrated us. Evil is united. Maybe self-destructive, but it's very united. You know, I'll never forget years ago, seeing something very clear in my spirit. It was like the hordes of hell going wherever they wish, taking whatever territory they desired. And when they came up to the children of God, they said, shh, shh, don't wake them up. They're, they're too busy standing around disqualifying each other. Well, folks, those days need to be over. We need to use our minds. We need to use our hearts. We need to pray. Uh, if you've grown up in church, you have the equivalency of a Bible college education, it's time to put on your armor, to stand together, and not just in the panhandle, but everywhere. We are at war. The war has begun. I've been talking to you for years about this, since the 90s, and look here where we are. The Bible is true, and just like this picture was ahead of its time, a forewarning that I didn't even understand. Uh, God is speaking out loudly. He loves you. With his creation, he demonstrates how much he loves you. But we are at war. It's real. It's on our doorstep. And this fire jihad will be exposed as such. You know, for 14 years, I've reported on uh, the activities of the largest terrorist organization in America. It's actually a political party. And, uh, and and those who who are sympathizers to it, uh, supposedly uh, on the right as well. Well, here we are. We're at war, folks. It's time to get real. Uh, a lot of people you, that you've supported don't care about you. If you think those D.C. politicians uh, doing coke in their hot tubs and hookers and multiple mansions due to your tax dollars care about you, well, you've got another thing coming. But God is right on time, you know, just like I was comforted. Why should I leave the fires in, these wildfires in this graphic? It's not wildfires. He knew. It made sense to him. And uh, his ways are not our ways. But he sees the future. Psalm 139, your life's already been written. I hope, you, I hope you're waking up to that, folks. Your life has already been written. So be free of anger. Be free of hate. Be free of fear and anxiety, but take up the sword. Come together. Gather together. Uh, this Friday night, Synergy, 6 p.m., right off Sansi and Amarillo. Uh, this Friday night. Saturday night is a home gathering in Bushland. Sunday morning, one of the hardest hit towns, Borger, Texas. It's still planned. Still planned to be on. Uh, go to where the need is. The days for... Uh, big screen, skinny jean, fog machine only. It's okay if you do that to reach your demographic, but you better have some substance. A lot of you do. There's real pastors out there that I'm hearing about 
pastors like Woody Robinson in Dallas, pastors like Jeremy Sutton in Midland, uh, pastors like uh, Brian Gibson I'm hearing about in Amarillo. Uh, they, they speak the truth, say what they mean, and they mean what they say, and they're gathering warriors too. So come together this Friday night. What? Look at that graphic. God knew. And so, hey, if you've been displaced, we want to minister to you. Uh, if, if you need prayer, if you need encouragement, if you need answers, you know where to come. And I'm sure there's a lot of great churches and ministries doing things as well. Uh, if you tell me about them, I'll announce those too. Uh, we don't own the corner uh, on, on Jesus and we don't own anybody. Uh, but it's real. And we've been at war for centuries. It's just more real now. So we pray for the people who have been affected by these attacks in the panhandle. And we come together. There's some big things on the way. There's announcements on the way. So let's stand together, folks. It's real, and it's what we're made for. Let's stand. Let's pierce the darkness and come together and pray and worship and be there for each other and unite once for all.